That is not a toy. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I know, I'm tripping on it. Is it reporting? Can uh -huh. you see it well? Not really. Just what is it? We received a lot of viewer pictures and video clips of the last few days asking about some strange lights seen in the sky over New Year's Eve. Well, the night team's Charles Gonzalez spoke with one person who saw a similar sight just a few days earlier and tries to see if it really was a close encounter. We didn't think much of it. And, uh, so we just dropped it until today when we saw the show about the other lights in California. We were like, wow, those are the lights that we saw. Our new friend Tony is talking about this, a photo he shot 10 days before the New Year's Eve sightings. He and three friends saw them after putting up Christmas lights. They were coming down, they were going south, they were going really slow, and then they shot up. They shot up into the sky. Plenty of other photos came into our newsroom this week of four or five orange lights in the sky, a mystery to many. We didn't know what to think. You know, we were like, wow, we, were, we weren't drinking that night or anything. I spoke with the San Antonio Astronomy Association, and they said there haven't been any strange events here over the last couple of weeks. But some of that video did make its way to a national UFO network. But they say it appears to be a lot less exciting than a visit from E.T. They believe this is what Tony and others were looking at, Chinese lanterns flying high above, an answer many of our Facebook friends agree with. But not a lot of viewers, including Tony. We've seen those, but I think at that height in the sky, they would turn off. Fire wouldn't stay on that high. So we were like, we didn't know what to think, and we were all confused. Like, wow, did we just see that? It was, like, exciting, Ex exciting, you know. That would be cool if it was, there were UFOs. <laughs> Charles Gonzalez, KSAT 12 News. Quelli di quelli dell'anno scorso. No. Guardalo. Bello, Anto. Beh, sì, ti fa piano. Però è il punto di riferimento. Eh, è il punto di riferimento, la sega, punto di riferimento. Che bello, caro. Beh, ferma, aspetta. Aspetta. No. Ecco, aspetta, guarda. No, sai. Guarda da vicino, corri. No, ma quanto è grande? Corri, vai giù a sentire, vai, vai giù dalla nonna, corri! Corri! Se ne va! Cazzo! Se ne va, se ne va, se ne va! So last week, a man from Fort Mill, he went outside, he spotted something suspicious in the sky, he whipped out his phone, and he thinks he spotted not one, but two different UFOs. Okay. Not one, two. Two? Really? Yeah. I mean, I only see one, one dot here on this video. Well, one of them's so. obviously a plane. That's a plane, yeah. and this is the mystery, mystery the, object. Well, it's definitely a UFO. I have no idea what it is, so. I don't either. Technically, so far, it's unidentified. He, he thinks yeah. it could be aliens, could be some other life form from another planet, what? He, he, he just was like, I don't know what it is. He was kind of confused, and he put it online, got a lot of hits. This is UFO right there. In just the last week, Quang Tron's YouTube videos have gotten 5,000 hits. Here, you can see the mystery object moving back and forth in the sky. When I go outside, 
and I saw something very bright on the sky and I used my uh, phone camera to, to record it. Tron says late last Thursday, he spotted two UFOs outside his home in Fort Mill. Do you think it was a UFO? Maybe, but I don't know. He says the flashes lasted about a minute. Like I said, the color very bright, the white color. And uh, I don't think that is it, is the airplane, no. Tran's daughter also caught a glimpse of it. It was bigger than a plane. The light itself was bigger than the plane. A little white, whitish, very bright light. It is not a planet because it is moving relative to the background. But a local expert says there's a perfectly rational explanation for the sighting. If it were any kind of aircraft, it should have had, or any kind of alien craft, it should have had a more definite shape and possibly a balloon released from a party. Uh, those Mylar balloons, they reflect a lot of light. UFO or not, Tran says he still checks the skies just in case those lights reappear. I watched a lot of uh, video on YouTube about UFO and last week I saw one, so I'm, I don't know. I. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know is the real UFO or not. No, I don't believe in UFOs, sadly. Reporting in Fort Mill, Archit Tashadri, My Fox Carolinas. <laughs>